everyone, it's Zach and Gus. We're back from GreatDaneCare.com. As you probably guessed from the introduction, we're here to make a video today about how to get your dog to stop barking or going nuts when somebody rings the doorbell or actually knocks on the door when they arrive at your home. Now, the reason we're making this video is we actually got an awesome suggestion in the comments. Uh, so I really encourage anyone going forward, if you have a suggestion or you have a request for a video, please make sure to add that in the comments. And for anyone else, if you see something that's already been requested that you'd also like to see, make sure to upload it as well. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that every time you release a video or a tip or trick, uh, you'll be sure to not miss it. Now, as you saw from the introduction, uh, Gus did bark a little bit when we actually rang the doorbell and knocked the door. Now, while she wasn't going crazy or bonkers, uh, this definitely can present a problem. Uh, whether it's children that are sleeping upstairs and you don't want the dog to wake them up with the barking at nighttime, um, or perhaps even if you just work at home and you need peace and quiet, you don't want the dog going crazy every time somebody rings the doorbell or knocks the door door. Uh, so funny enough, at our old house, Gus actually used to be really good about this. We spent a lot of time training her, so she never did that. But when we moved to the new house, we started having kids, and frankly just didn't put in the time to keep uh, working with her on it, she's actually kind of regressed a little bit and gotten a little bit worse. Uh, so it's definitely something that's worthwhile for us to work on. Now really there's only two reasons that cause most dogs to bark when you know somebody's knocking at the door, ringing the doorbell, and it really comes down to, could be anxiety, so they're kind of stressed out, they're worried, they feel like they need to protect uh, the family when somebody's coming to the door, um, or it could also just be an, an excitement factor. So they want to alert you that somebody's here, maybe they're excited to go see them as well. Um, it could just be one of those two things. Now, if you think that it is more of an anxiety issue, that may just mean you need to spend a little bit more time working with them to help get over that fear or anxiety of these different sounds. The way that I like to fix this issue, and we'll show you this here shortly with Gus, is to use positive reinforcement or treats as kind of a high value reward for not responding to sounds like the doorbell or somebody knocking at the door. Um, now, if you are gonna use treats, make sure you don't just use a piece of kibble or a piece of plain food. It needs to be something extra tasty so that way it gets the dog's attention. I've actually got some dog friendly uh, turkey jerky bits here that Gus loves. Uh, so for her, this is the perfect treat to get her excited to say, okay, let's focus on something different here. All right, so to begin the practice, what we'll do is just start by kind of recreating the event. So that way the dog gets used to kind of hearing the sounds going off and not having a reaction to them. Now uh, this can be really helpful if you have a partner who can actually knock from the outside. Um, for right now, I'll just start by doing some gentle knocks myself. And each time Gus is good, I'll go ahead and give her a treat and give her some attention. Uh, so that way she understands that she doesn't need to react. Uh, everything's just fine. Yeah. Nope, no, 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 it's okay. Come here, hey, come here. Treat. There you go. All right. Nope, no, no, it's okay, it's okay. Good girl. No, hey, here you go, there you go. Good girl. Good girl, it's okay, it's okay. All right, so as you can see, uh, even with Gus sitting here watching me, she was actually kind of barking and alerting, saying, hey, somebody's here. Uh, but using a couple of treats, we'll just kind of keep practicing and repeating this until she stops having an issue. Now, you may find that even no matter how many times you do this, they might still continue to struggle. So you may need to actually take them a little bit further away from the door, so that way the sound isn't quite as loud. Um, or ideally, if you do have that partner, you can have them actually crack open the door partially, so that way they can have a visual view as to you know who's outside instead of being concerned about some kind of stranger trying to get into the house if it's more of an anxiety issue there. All right, now the other thing that you may also want to consider is that because in many cases dogs are just alerting you that somebody's here at the door, uh, it may be helpful to actually allow them to have a bed or a place to rest at a safe distance. That way they can have a visual line of sight as to what's going on and not be so curious as to figure out uh, who is at the door and what's gonna happen. Uh, so the easy way to teach this is using the place command. I'll put a link up here from the card uh, so that way you can see how to teach that one as well. All right, so we hope that you found this video helpful. As you saw, it's gonna take time and practice. This is probably something they're not gonna get right away. Um, you'll have to keep repeating this every single day for a while, just that way they get a lot of repetitions and learn to disassociate the knock on the door or, or the ringing of that doorbell with being something to be fearful or get really excited about and start barking. And with that, once again, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. And until next time, stay dainty, my friends.